Did I get scammed on Timu? What's good with it? It's your kid, Folk Dookie. Today we're doing a $100 Timu tech haul. If you haven't heard about Timu, it's basically the new hot girl in the online shopping arena. It's basically the brand new budget baddie. It feels kind of like a remix of Wish.com with a little bit of AliExpress in there. But it's been popping up everywhere and I was like, okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. Now this video was inspired by two things. First, I got a $100 gift card from the good folks over at Google. Secondly, and more importantly, this video was inspired by this right here. This is a cheap wireless lav mic. There's people all over TikTok saying, you gotta pick this up, get better audio. I got this on Amazon and it was trash, terrible. People were like, nah, I got mine for Timu and it was great. So that's what we're gonna start with. This is what I picked up from Timu. It simply is a wireless microphone. It comes with the wireless mic and an adapter, USB-C that you can plug into your phone. This is the actual wireless microphone. This is the adapter with the USB-C. You plug this into your phone. Yeah, you get a charging cable. We don't need to get all of that. This is the cheap one that I picked up off of Amazon. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So this is the cheap mic that I picked up off of Amazon. I got this for $22 and it sounds crappy. It sounds terrible. I just do not like it. Let's go ahead and see what the Timu version is doing. All right, now this is the microphone that I picked up off of Timu for $8. I'm using it in the same way that I use the cheap mic from Amazon. Now let's check it out to see if it sounds worse, as good or as terrible as, or hopefully better. I'm hoping for better. So I just watched them back here on my phone and I can tell that the mic quality from the Timu sounds better. Now there's a little bit of handling noise. I'm guessing that's just from the way I'm holding it. If It seems like if you were to actually attach it, that it should work better. But honestly, just from that little bit of playback, it sounded so much better. And at less than half the price, it sounded like double the quality. So take that. First up is a win for Timu. I'm not mad at that. Now to continue in that same vein, I was searching on Timu looking for stuff to add and this kept popping up. This is one of those tripod stand and handheld grip vlog kits that you can put your phone in. It has a little bit of light and a microphone. Let's go ahead and open this up. So you get a pretty cheap <laughs> tripod grip type of thing, Jesus. I would definitely break this. This is definitely something that I would destroy. So here is a small on camera light. This sucks because it needs batteries. You get a standard clamp style phone mount and you get a microphone that uses an aux port or you know a 3.5 millimeter cable. I'm using my Pixel 7 Pro, so that's not gonna work. Now, as you can see, I turned off my studio lights here. So we just have the handheld tripod with the phone holder and this light up here at the top. I currently have the light here at the lowest brightness setting. It takes two AA batteries. Here, let's go ahead and turn it up. Oh, that already was more significant. That's pretty good. So this is the light on full brightness. It's definitely a harsh, bright light shining in your face, but if you needed your front lit in a situation where you didn't have any light, I guess it gets the job done. An aux port or a headphone jack, and my phone doesn't have one, like most phones don't have anymore. I'm not using that right now. The audio is coming from that microphone that I picked up from Timu. Y'all let me know what you think down below. Now this right here, I was actually kind of interested to pick up. As someone who does a lot of PC building, it's always good to have a screwdriver, especially one with power. I have a couple of them, but for 20 bucks, I wanted to see what this one can do. Now there's a little bit of confusion because I thought I got the one that says 50 in one mini pin shape precision driver, but it also says 11 in one screwdriver. And on here it says 10 screwdriver bits. So I'm guessing this is the 11 in one version, which is something you gotta watch out on Timu. A lot of the title will have a specific thing, but then when you get into the options, there's different options for it. 
So you gotta make sure that you get in the exact thing that you want. But let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so you get a USB-C charger cable, which is cool because I bought one of these before and it still uses micro USB and I'm like, nah. You get your 10 bits. Now these are some really small bits. This is definitely for precision screw driving. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I like this, this is metal. You know, let's see what type of torque it has. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's super powerful. Oh, there's a little bit of light. I don't know if you could tell, if you could see that. There's a little light, turn off and on. But for 20 bucks, I'm not mad at it at all. <laughs> now, you know I love my audio, so I had to get some audio products. And definitely, Budget Cheap Audio is a place where you can go get a lot of that on Timu. So I wanted to pick up something a little bit different because a lot of the earbuds seem to be like AirPod knockoffs. You know, that's the big thing. I was like, no, nah, I wanna try something else. So we have these Sanag Z5, Z50s Pro. But the reason I wanted to pick these up, cause they don't seem to sit in your ear like earbuds. It's almost like bone conduction earbuds that sit around your ear. So let's just go ahead and open these up and see what's up. Plastic up off of here. Get your earbuds right here. Ooh, that case is crazy big. It's bulky. Let's open that up. Wow, that looks crazy. That looks pretty interesting. Okay, it came up on my phone. It says connected. I wonder how you get these in your, on your ear. So this is the right one. It's got two parts on it and this little bulb part goes on the outside of your ear. This larger part goes on the inside of your ear. Wrong, wrong. I was wrong. The little round ball part goes in your ear. The other part goes on the back of your ear. All right, let's hear. I'm not a fan of bone conduction. If I'm gonna listen to earbuds, I want the full sound. I know for some people, they don't like sticking things in their ears. This kind of defeats the purpose for me because you're still sticking it somewhat in your ear, maybe not deep into your ear canal. Can I hear the music clearly? Yes. Would it be something that I wanna listen to consistently? Not really. It kind of sounds like little speakers are playing near your ear. Not just a no, but a hell no. That doesn't give me a lot of hope for this. <laughs> but here we have a cheap, Bluetooth speaker with some RGB, $14.98. Not a lot of high hopes. Packaging up off of here. Oh, it's even smaller than I thought. Oh, this is cute. I'm not mad at this. This is kind of cute. Okay, we got some light in here. We got some light in. Let's see if we can get it paired up. It sounds like a cheap Bluetooth speaker. You gotta keep that in mind. But man, for $15, like my niece, you know, I've been wanting to give her a Bluetooth speaker just so she can have something to annoy her parents with and play her music loud. This is exactly what I would give her. It can sit on the desk. It has little lights, so that's cool. It's not gonna be audio file quality. You know, she don't care about that. For $15, I'm not mad at this. And last, but definitely not least, I picked up this. This is the Gamebox Power 801 G3. This is one of those cheap retro handhelds that come filled with a bunch of games. Let's see, what else comes in the box? <laughs> that the audio visual cables. That's crazy. I guess if you want to hook this up to a TV like that, you can. And then I guess this is a controller? Oh, this is cheap. This is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. This is what it looks like. I couldn't imagine wanting to use this. But here is the actual device. Now, I got this little blue color. This is just a cheap plastic shell with a little tiny screen on it. This D-pad is not any good, but it's better than the one on the controller. It definitely, I feel like it's terrible, but you know, I can use it. And then you have your 
XYBA Select and Start. A very small battery, very small battery. You're not looking to get a lot of time out of this. Excitebyte. I always play Excitebyte whenever I get some retro stuff. So I'm gonna start with Excitebyte. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting my sight bite on. So this was $20 shortly after I bought it, the price dropped. So they gave me an initial refund. So it was dropped like to 16. This kind of cool. I don't know if I would spend a lot of time. First of all, just cycling through 800 games like that would take forever. I don't think I would ever even get to 800. A lot of these are just your ROMs. You know, there's a million ROMs and Devices like these come loaded with them. You guys let me know. I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. You guys let me know. Is this worth it? Is it just cheap e-waste trash? It's up to you. Did I get scams on Timu? Did you enjoy this? If you would like a bigger tech haul, then we can try that out. Or if you know another website or anything where you want me to do a tech haul, let me know. I'm gonna get up out of here. It's your Ken Folk Dookie. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Blessings up to the vainglorious Jehovah. I love you. You are always here with us. I'm going to get up out of here. Never forget to holla at your boy.